at the negative terminal of the battery, you have an oxidation reaction, which is that you lose electrons. But what that really says is that you've pushed the zinc through this reaction with oxygen into kind of a more frenetic state. And when you connect the wire from this negative terminal that has this excess of motion to the positive terminal, what happens is that you've connected it to a sink for this same frenetic motion. But it is energetically unfavorable. It will never occur without a little bump. Mm. And so when you connect the two terminals of the battery, what you've done is the motion, the frenetic motion that's excessive on this spontaneous reaction of the zinc is passed into the wire. And then all of the atoms in the wire are basically collecting this motion. And at the end of the wire, you have this reduction reaction, which is the gain of electrons. And what that really is, is that is a sink for the motion. People used to think of heat as these little particle thingies too, right? Yeah. They thought of it as like this fluid, very similar to the way that most textbooks talk about electricity. But this is really surface motion of the atoms themselves. 